Hello everybody and welcome to another ball review, this time for the Mean Green and the Gator Ball, a new bundle in Golf Clash the game. And before we take a look at both of them, make sure you do subscribe to the channel and also visit golfclashtommy.com for more Golf Clash related content for free. Last but not least, get the best guides on the market by going to patreon.com slash golfclashtommy, link directly in the description down below. So let's take a look. Uh, at the bundle take control of your short game with the mean green ball with maximum side spin and wind resistance and uh, you will have no problem getting your ball exactly where you want it no matter the wind conditions a, a night marriage potted plant hungry for its next opponent you will rarely see more teeth out on the course and then with the, this little horror then we do have the gator ball snap up the competition with the gator ball enormous power and green great side spin make this ball an awesome choice when a good drive is an instrumental to victory um a master of the patient hunt this reptilian monster is more than just teeth and scales its yellow eyes makes uh, <laughs> eyes watch your every move as you set it up on the tee so ladies and gentlemen two really good looking ball but we're gonna talk a little bit about them first and foremost where can we use them and i think it's better to go into the view here where we can take a look at the ball in more detail we start with a mean green ball power zero side spin five wind five we press the power and you will see it has a plus three overpower needle stability which is the same as a kingmaker so this ball if you are going to overpower this ball it's gonna be easier than it will be with many other wind five balls but do we ever overpower wind five balls especially do like and i rephrase myself do we uh, overpower with power zero wind five balls I've never done that, I think. So I think the needle stability, honestly, is just like, it doesn't matter what it is. Because I look at this one as a par three, and if we ever find ourselves having to overpower our shot on a par three, yeah, then we have choose the wrong ball already from the start. Because obviously with overpower, it's gonna be harder to be able to hit perfect. Also, if we look at the ball in itself, this is going to be a very hard ball to center. And those of you that do play tournaments competitively will know what I'm talking about there. And to be able to explain it a little bit better, when you pull back your ball, trying to have it in the adjustment circle, then you won't be having just a round ball, which means that there will be, you know, you see the leaves especially, will be in somewhat covering the sides and in that with that in mind the, the ball definitely decreases in its value even on the par threes because you rather want to have a round ball so you know you don't have overpower under power or curl accidentally but if it's going to be used at any place it's going to be a par three ball but for me this ball with the stuff that i've been talked about this that is a three in my opinion I'm looking at it into a general aspect and as we as I see us basically only due to the low power play it on in tournaments and then par threes needle speed doesn't really matter and then also the shape of it definitely decrease its value so I do give it a 3 out of 10 low rating and I would love to hear how you would rate this ball uh, in the end though the, it will be a ball that I will have in my bag because win five balls does come rarely nowadays and it is something that is super duper important to have especially if you do play tournaments in expert and master let's take a look at the gator ball gator ball is an improved berserker ball um so to speak so an improved berserker ball with the side spin three and it has wind one power five it's a perfect power five ball in tailwind especially and maybe to a stretch in crosswind if needed otherwise in headwind the wind resistance is not good enough to be able to play there but this is in general a better ball uh, on we're looking at to play on tour play and tournament play than what the mean green ball is to me so i will go up a notch and i will give this one a four and a big reason why i give it only four it's because of the lack of wind resistance but also especially that we do have the berserkers that you can win for free in the golden shot and it's not often that you need the side spin three uh, when in tournaments or for that matter in tour play where we can in that case compensate with curl this ball is also not round so it's going to be hard to center but as it is a par 
power five ball we won't be using it on power threes and then the centering of the ball is gonna not have that much big of effect in my opinion so in the end there's two really nice looking balls we're gonna take a look at the needle speed real quick just to demonstrate that as well but as i said you know two really nice looking ball but if we're looking once again at the value to it it's not the best ones that I've seen, you know. Sometimes I do believe that the visual makes the ball look better, but it does make the ball worse when it comes to the way that we're using it. So sometimes it's better to have a round ball, in my opinion, with the stats that we're, that we're getting. So in the end, I would say, uh, once again, uh, rating 3 out of 10 for the mean green ball and a 4 out of 10 for the gator ball. And let me know how you would rate this ball in the comment section below and also why you would have rated it that way. Thank you so much for watching this ball review for the mean green ball and the gator ball. Thank you so much for watching and good luck in your Gold Clash game.